So I've been a home brewer since college, and uh, on my first trip um, to Belgium in 95, I visited farmhouse breweries and just fell in love with the idea of having a farmhouse brewery someday back on the family farm here, uh, where my parents moved in, in the 60s. I knew that I was, I kind of watched this project for a while, uh, back in 2013 even, uh, kind of start to develop, and it's, Kind of every brewer, at least farmhouse brewer's dream to really get on a farm and use some of these local ingredients and it's really great to be, you know, part of a new wave of breweries here. And uh, and what we're doing specifically is focusing on farmhouse style beers, which mainly from Belgium and you know parts of northern France focus on the ingredients you have at hand uh, on a farm. Uh, we often like to say we're brewing ancient beers in a modern style. The very first beers ever produced were accidents, uh, and it's by putting sugars outside, and then yeast and bacteria that just naturally are in the air in that place uh, would rest on it and get to a temperature where they can ferment and produce beer. You do a really long extended boil time uh, most beer is boiled for an hour. Uh, these were boiled for three hours. Basically after you boil for that long, you send the boiling wort outside into a shallow stainless steel pan or you could use copper um, and you just leave it overnight. And basically the ambient air te temperature chills the beer to where yeast and bacteria can live in it and they inoculate it naturally themselves and then you pump it back in the next morning into a barrel and you leave it there for who knows how long. Presently where we're at is about to open and uh, we've brewed you know almost a, over 100 barrels of beer and our aging beers and you know it's so exciting to be right at the at the dawn of, of the brewery so it's you know my lifelong dream like more than half of my life I've wanted to see this come together so uh, it means a lot to be sitting right here and have a functioning brewery, you know, downstairs, ready to rock and roll. So when people come here, they should know they're tasting beers that to the highest degree we can. It is a beer from this place, uh, this farm, this valley that really reflects, you know, uh, this patch of ground, this patch of earth.